The Mix Online team has released a new issue. The issue is centered around visualizations, and we've asked two of the gentlemen from the team to explain what's going on. So go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Hans Hoogley. I work for the Platform Evangelism team, and within that, the Innovative Web team. All right. Uh, I'm on the same team. My name's Nishant Gotari, and mm -hmm. Hans, to give you some context, Hans is the token developer in this interview, <laughs> and I'm there the token go. designer. All so, right. Even uh, though we both sort of crossed the chasm. Okay. Up a bit. So there's a study out there that the uh, Center for Disease Control did, uh, the CDC did, mm -hmm. where over a span of 20 years, they went to a random sample of the country and they asked them a set of questions. It's a really deep study, a deep survey. Mm -hmm. Um, and they measured all sorts of things, like how much these people smoke, how much they drink, you know, what their weight fluctuation was, what their BMI changes over time. So obesity right. is one of the things you can get from this data set. Now, the traditional way to do it is just to map these things on, on a U.S. Sure. map, right? Oh, yeah, right? Sure. And then you Put a show, number on a state. And put a number on a state. And mm -hmm. what we really wanted to communicate is as a nation, we're just getting obese. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided what to do was that the most visual, uh, literal metaphor you could use is t-shirt sizes, right? Sure. They, it's just something that we intuitively know. Right. So, so what, what's, what's interesting is, take uh, 1987, which is the first part of the data set. Um, what I've selected here is, um, you know, all the states that have an obesity prevalence of 10 to 14 percent. So a simpler way to put that is, one out of 10 people in these states are okay. obese, right? They have a BMI of over 30. Right. Now you see that's less, that's about half the country, mm -hmm. right? And the rest of them roughly fall below that. So less than one person or about one, one out yeah. of 10 people back in the eight, early 80s mm -hmm. or mid 80s was obese. Now, let's keep this selected, and let's start going up okay. the years. So you're seeing the t-shirts turn red and get bigger mm -hmm. because the obesity rate is obviously growing. But what's interesting is when you get out a decade later, it's gone, right? Mm. The yeah. selections are gone because Oh, the because rate, they all got bigger. The rate oh, jumped yeah. up, okay. right? The basic crux of this visualization was how do you, how do you annotate an infographic such that it gives people context about what they're seeing without being intrusive and mm -hmm. how you actually do it over the wire. Right? Okay, so, yeah. so it, as opposed to we had the poster up there and if you wanted to you could have walked me through every step. Exactly. And this is me without a guide, right? Exactly, so okay. if you load this up you see a bunch of markers fall into place and we have a slider that lets you see just those markers and when you hover over them you can learn different parts of the poster. Okay. At the same time you can, you know, go into one of the markers and you can actually follow the process. Oh, very cool. Yeah, see, I it's haven't had the poster explained to me like this. This is, this is neat. Right, because what we usually hear is, this is cool, can I get a copy? And yeah. then the next <laughs> question you get after 10 minutes when someone stares at it is, uh, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> I noticed this little it's pretty circle complex. graph, right? Right. The, the red and white thing that you so start following. It's, it's one of those things that's a good art piece. It's great mm -hmm. for the wall. Yeah. But we put a lot of thought into communicating the nuances of just the web design process. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm, I'm hogging airtime here. I actually want Hans to talk about how we implemented this, because before this, I think the only thing we've seen was Hard Rock Cafe was someone who pushed Deep Zoom really hard, right? right. Hard Rock Cafe, cafe right. memorabilia. But in, in their case, you can zoom into a region, and it pops up a dialogue and tells you what's generally in that region. Mm -hmm. At this point, what we've done is created literally a harness on top of that, yeah. That lets you put XAML on top of DeepZoom okay. and knows how to deal with the scaling at, scaling issues so and so on. All of this is available at visitmix.com? Um, so the, the URL I would start at is mm -hmm. visitmix.com slash lab slash descry. Okay. D E S C R Y. And our CodePlex site is, is uh, codeplex.com slash descry. Descry. Okay. Yeah. Very and, cool. And yeah, you'll be able to download all all the source for everything that we have here as well as all the design assets. Yeah, we tried to comment it as well as possible. Oh, but, nice. You know, yeah. That's an added bonus. I mean, we, we, 